Hi guys, today we're going to learn how to add on a number line. You first just need to make a line on your paper. And today we're going to start with numbers 0 to 10. I'm going to first start with a number that goes in the middle. What number is exactly in the middle of 0 and 10? 5. Let's do the numbers between 0 and 5. And the numbers after 5. We are ready to start adding on a number line. And I've brought my friend Mr. Frog. We know frogs like to hop, but this frog likes to hop on number lines. Alright, we're going to start with the number 7, Mr. Frog. Put a little lily pad on 7. And we're going to have our second number be 2. And the second number shows us how the starting number is going to change to get to the ending number. Are you ready to hop with Mr. Frog? Mr. Frog knows where to start, but he doesn't know where to hop. Do you know which direction he needs to hop? Should he go backward, where the numbers get smaller? Our forwards where the numbers get greater. Well, this addition sign shows me that the numbers are going to get greater because we're adding them together. So we need to hop forwards. So we are going to hop forward. Ready? One, two. What is our ending number? Nine. 7 plus 2 is 9. One thing about Mr. Frog, once he hops, he doesn't want to stop. So let's have his starting number be 8. I'm going to put a lily pad on 8, and you can put a lily pad on your 8. And let's hop 1. I know I'm going to hop forward because that's where the numbers get greater. You ready? Frog's ready. This is going to be an easy jump. One. Whenever we add one, it's just the number that comes next. Nine. Eight plus one is nine. What if I change this number to seven? Can you guess without me using Mr. Frog what seven plus one would be? Eight. Whenever you add one, it's the number that comes next when you're counting. So what would five plus one be? Six. Okay, since you're probably an expert at adding one, you know it's the number that comes next. Let's see if we can figure out two really fast. Eight, nine, ten. You just count up two. Eight plus two is ten. This time, Mr. Frog has chosen three as our starting number, but he has a little joke for you. What if we add zero? How many hops would he make? None. Three plus zero hops. We didn't change the number. He's still on three. Whenever you add zero to a number, the frog doesn't hop. The number stays the same. It doesn't change. So if he was on six, what would the ending number be? Did you say six? If so, you are right. Air high five with frog. Let's watch and see how frog hops bigger numbers. 
going to start on three. We'll get a lily pad ready for him. And we know we're going to hop six numbers forward since we're adding. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six is where he lands. And if you don't have a Mr. Frog puppet, you can just pretend and show the frog's path with your pencil. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three plus six is nine. Good job, guys. Now remember when you're adding with a number line, you can make a lily pad, show the frog's hops, and then show the ending number that you land on. And this is if you're adding. But what happens when you are subtracting and the numbers get smaller? Which way would he have to go? Back. And we're going to try that on another day. But for now, go practice adding on a number line. Bye.